Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it ain't perfect, but I. Daniel的时装秀，那说真的，这个西展我看到了很多亚裔面孔设计师。那Daniel他本身呢，也是来自一个华裔，再加上日本的背景，所以话不多说，我们先去看看后台喽。Okay, this time, uh, if you know, right, the theme of the collection is called Ima Nippon. Actually, it's Japanese means nowadays Japan. I'm sure everyone knows about Japan nowadays, right? More or less. But a lot of people don't actually really, wait. a lot of people love Japan, like Japan, but they don't really know anything about Japan, you know? It seems like you guys know a lot, but actually not really, not really you know, maybe you know sushi, sashimi, uh -huh, or yeah. even anime, right? Uh -huh. But a lot of people don't understand that actually, Japan is a lot more than just anime and sushi. Um, and and uh, this time the show is all about the struggle between traditional and, and modern society. Because if you know, right, uh, we are from Asia or anywhere on earth, like Europe, even New York, US, the modern society has been eating up the tradition culture. Like, all the tradition is almost gone or, or, or just being very limited resources right now. Except Japan though. Japan, for some reason, the traditional culture, the tradition is still very, very strong. As you can see, girls who still wear kimono walking on the street, and the festival is still very, very strong. So, but at the same time, as you know, Japan is one of the most high-tech city in the world, and all the modern stuff, crazy fashion, you know, amazing culture, is all mixed together. So there actually there is a struggle. So this time my collection is not just about the tradition, it's not just about the modern, but the struggle as well. And because it's so much to talk about in Japan, so that's why it's two shows, it's part one and part two. Wow. This time I only show part one. Wow, so exciting. So, yes. so like, with you, we have the Chinese and the Japanese uh, background, because you used to study fashion in Tokyo. How do you think this has helped you in your fashion journey? Um, actually, um, let's with it. Whether Chinese or Japanese or Asian, right? The difference is uh, the yeast, Coast and the West Coast, I mean the, 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 uh, uh, the Asia and, and West Coast or even Europe is so different as you know. So what helping me is I got, because I got a lot of uh, background from the Chinese and I know a lot of Japanese stuff so it's actually helped me on the detail, you know, for example the detail on the systematic size or, or, or the uniqueness and simplicity, simplicity from the Japanese. But at the same time, the tradition, the culture, the strong favor from Chinese. Uh, however, and I have the full uh, disadvantage, you know, Japanese, like me, I'm weird and I am crazy. So just like... That's how you get to be fashion though. I hope so. <laughs> but then that's how I bring all this now to New York to show, you know, New York, US and the whole world that what Asian actually can do. So. So yeah, you're talking about Asian like so like I see that Asian and Asian Americans, uh, they are right now being a force in this fashion industry with I was looking through the list, I see many Asian designers and with like Claudia Lee just this past Sunday she featured 35 Asian cars. It's like, you know, uh, giving uh moving the fashion diversity movement forward and with like Asian maybe race in Asia and like train in the States like Jason Wu designers or like even like Han Chong from South Portrait, born and raised in Malaysia. You as an Asian designer yourself, what are your views on this? Are you proud? What exciting? Well, of course, right? Nowadays, like you said, right, uh, the Asian designer is going up because, you know, uh, let's say 20 years ago, right, 30 years, years ago, we don't have the resources, we don't have the technology, we don't have the education or the skill. But when Asia is you know, the economy start flying up like China, Hong Kong, or even uh, uh, Southeast Asia, like Singapore, Malaysia. Huh? When they start flying up, 
and people get educated well and get educated more and more manner and more you know like diversify right so we start to learn more you know the culture and then we start to be being creative this is what happened at the end this is the result the consequence of how Chinese or Asian not just Chinese Chinese Japanese or all Malaysian the Asian that how they can go better and big and bigger right um, it's not to me it's not a competition a lot of people say that oh you're a designer I'm a designer oh he's a designer to me I see it as a team exactly not just Asian though even though for example right I, I love Tom Ford I love Michael Kors you know I love uh, uh, Mark Jacob it's just we are we all design they, they are all individual Ex exactly they are all different but I want to work as a team as a group as a strong united fashion industry that oh not not saying that oh this is asian oh this is this is white people this is black i don't like that i like to be so that's why when you see my model i will have all kinds of races more because i don't like that i don't want to separate people this is a teamwork crd i'm in new york working with all the designer in order to bring everybody up instead of oh, just one designer or particular designer and my final question for you today will be, what is your vision for Denly? Will you bring it, like, let's say to China, such a big market? Well, right now, I'm actually, uh, my team, uh, uh, my, my, I have other team de developing a high-tech fashion app and a virtual reality technology. I can tell you now because it's already undergoing. Uh, I want to build Daniel design the line is not just high fashion but high tech high fashion. Wow. So from the maybe starting 2019 you're gonna see that I will have all kinds of crazy high tech stuff in the in, in my design in my collection with apps with, with I mean fashion apps and with a virtual reality technology. So. Alright that's so exciting. Good luck for your show later. Thank you so much for nice me. This is inspired in the fox. The fox is like a god in Japan because they are smart and they are fast and they are very intelligent. And we did the inspiration on the fox and also on the lips. It's a bit like a geisha style, but we did it a bit more modern because this is the collection that designer that Dan Liu wants is to bring Japan here in the modern society and to keep also the traditional for this look. So we did the look inspired in the geisha and in the fox style. What we've done today is Dan wanted, um, sorry Sam, Dan wanted, um, what he actually sent was like a beautiful haircut, but obviously you can't cut models hair, so we had to do a work around and find out exactly what it was that he really liked about that particular picture of that hair, and so we've just had to adapt that hairstyle onto every model and what we found it what we determined was that he he liked that it came in and like almost like enclosed the face rather than it's there's so much runway hair of everything back off people's mm -hmm. faces that he just wanted everything just in and closed in a little bit more which is actually quite fun to do because we've done so much hair off and hair back yeah. this week it's been great to do your hair forward and yeah it's been good yeah.